Thanks, mister. But we can always be huger and shinier. You out here all day? As long as those disability checks keep coming. No, 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 no. Oh, my cheese fell down the drain again. Give me a gun. Okay, but I've been chewing a long morning and it hasn't helped. He did it! He cheers for the scrawny guy! Yeah. Remember for next time, the stamp goes on the letter, not the mailbox. I gotta go. Alright, and today's video is going to be on um, uh, bodybuilding. Alright, now um, I just saw, um, I believe his name is, is Elder Matazakba on um, South Carolina, for South Carolina. I believe his name is Elder Matazak. Um, he just made a video on... Um, uh, on apparently someone in his comments, an anonymous uh, person uh, said that on Instagram, um, with people with the GMS tag, she sees a lot of brothers with their shirts off. And um, she said, you know, shouldn't there be some order if girls can't have Instagrams and um, solo pages and whatever outside of the truth and, and you know, uh, show their ass and shit like that? Shouldn't guys um, not have... Um, their pages and have shirt listings and you know all the manazaka um, you know she also says lucky she also said something about adultery like oh yeah guys that do that they have adulterous thoughts the girls will have adulterous thoughts um uh, you know and all the manazaka had to rebuke her a little bit you know first and foremost because uh you know she sounded like she's doing too much you know searching around for brothers you know and uh secondly um because you know she said the whole thing about adultery you know now if she wasn't thinking about adultery why did adultery have to come up and that's very fishy you know and if you're talking about adultery that means she has a husband okay so really she um got a little bit more than she was asking for she really should have um you know yeah in my opinion i say she should have just kept her mouth shut you know which a woman really should be doing just just keep your mouth shut okay if um brothers are doing anything with the shirtless you know, you don't you don't know why they were doing that. You don't even know if those guys are really GMS. So really, she should have just kept their mouth shut because those guys on the internet they couldn't they, those guys couldn't even been GMS. That could have been someone else. You don't you don't know, man. You know, we don't know. It's the book of Leviticus chapter eighteen verse seven. The nakedness of thy father or the nakedness of thy mother shalt thou not uncover. She is thy mother. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. You know, which you know, that kind of speaks for itself. This is really talking about lying with your um, with your parents, lying with your father, lying with your mother. You know, in uh, other cultures, and I'll I'll say this from um, experience, um, an insider from the so-called college world. You know, I once knew some chick, um, uh, a nigga woman, right, and um, she uh, would go party with her mother. Okay, now if she's going out to party with her mother, right? Who knows what other stuff they're getting into, you know? Th that shit's real, man. Like mother, mother, daughter, um, orgies, mother, mother, son orgies, you know? Uh, um, a mother and their, and their son doing orgies, that shit's real. Or a mother and a daughter having orgies, that's also real. You have prostitutes that do that, you know? And um, I'm gonna get a. Uh, a scripture here uh first john chapter 2 verse 15 love not the world not the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him exactly loving this world a part of loving this world is is um you know loving these gyms loving these um you know loving loving this um you know gym loving the weights too much loving the, the gym more than you love the father because you know 
uh, there's, there's certain points uh, in this walk where you've required the fast. Now, if you want to be a, a competitive bodybuilding, right, you really shouldn't um, fast at all. You have to have your priority straight. Are you serving the most high? Are you serving mammon? Are you serving the world? Are you serving the most high? Okay. So you got to you gotta have your priority straight. You know, sometimes you may have to drop the gym for a day and, and go fast, you know. Or if you're fasting on your rest day, it's gonna you may mess with your recovery a little bit, but that's all, you know, to the most size will. My teeth fell down the drain again. Give me a gun. You know, which uh, something interesting that they talked about. Um, ignore the little funny face at the beginning. I'll show you it uh, again real quick. Huge. Thanks, Mister. But we can always be huger and shinier. You out here all day? As long as those disability checks keep coming. Oh, no. Yeah, that little picture, that's Jason Blaha. That's kind of like um, an inside fitness joke. Uh, and the guy says, as long as those disability checks keep coming. Uh, bodybuilders are known for that. Uh, fitness guys in the gym are known for that shit. Especially the Jakes. You know, he's, he's called supplanted for a reason. Okay. But, uh, you know, that's once again, that's just things in the world. For all that is in the world, in the lust of the flesh, in the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. Exactly. The world passed away, and the luster of he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. Okay, this world is going to pass away. It's going to be burned and absolutely destroyed by nuclear fire. Okay, along with that is going to go all your bodybuilding friends, your your friend Carly, Carlos at the gym, your friend uh 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 I don't I don't fucking know what's the guy in the gym, Joey, Ricardo I don't fucking know, all your gym buddies. And all your weights, okay, your pull-up bar is going to be uh, uh, smoke and dust, okay? And even before then, with these, um, you know, these forced to knock, uh, shit, forced uh, um, Vanessa's at the gyms, right, which is coming up, I believe, September, you guys are, um, you guys going to be asked out, man. So, I mean, if you if you one of these uh, big bodybuilder-ass niggas and you don't know how to do push-ups and you can't do push-ups... Man, you're 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 asked out. This is the book of Luke, chapter sixteen, verse fifteen. He said unto them, You are they which justify yourselves before men, but how will know if the hearts for that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of Yahweh. Okay? And it speaks for itself. And one more point about these bodybuilders, why you shouldn't really mimic them, right? This is all I looked up was uh bodybuilding gay for pay. I am the bodybuilder um male escort with ties to uh you know Bodybuilders, since there was a huge positive response for asking for a stride, I'll ask for almost anything you guys want. I know a lot of um, straight bodybuilders too. If you'd like to ask about them and their side of it, go ahead. Otherwise, get a question about the industry myself. Okay, but you see here, the gay shit starts uh, immediately. Is it possible to get a picture of how jacked you are if your faith is uncovered? Curious about this. Also, do you compete? If so, are there many politics with G for P? Do you ever feel bad about what you do? No one must... Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see, have you ever used it as a way to pay for steroids and other bodybuilding goods? What got you into it? They do, you know... <laughs> I can answer the last one. That's a fact, you know? But look, this is uh, this is why we don't we don't engage in these kind of... Um, in these kind of practices, man. The whole bodybuilder, body dysmorphia, uh, you know, look, getting on steroids. That's, that's uh, witchcraft. That's sorceries. I do not compete. I have pretty bad body dysmorphia. Sometimes I feel bad about it all. It usually hits the first minute or so I meet a new client. Usually clients are out of shape, old, or just plain growth. So seeing them for the first time always sucks. Once you get into it, though, it gets better. If a guy wants something weird like to suck your toes for an hour, then it's the worst hour of my life. Having to fake moaning while some hideous guy does something that doesn't turn you on really hits hard. Family doesn't know I have a pretty regular job. Everyone's got to have a front and live modestly. So my family doesn't know I have almost 100K saved up. I have a living boyfriend. Okay. For a year and a half. He escorted me at one point. So he doesn't mind much. We are just completely honest about who, when, and, and for how much I meet. Uh, the only thing that constantly pops up is safety. Initially got into it for money because I was um, uh, hormones. Camming is some of the easiest money ever made. No can tech up to five dollars a minute. 
And most guys are so appreciative they buy you presents afterwards. Mostly I had guys buy me stuff on Amazon wish list. <laughs> Because it keeps you anonymous and you can get literally anything you need. It pays for all my subs, steroids, and more through this. Let me know if I missed anything. This was a long response. How much do you make for... Okay, and he's actually asking. it. These guys are fucking interested. My point is, is that this shit is connected, man. This shit is fucking... <laughs> Any current IFBB pros and executives love G for P. Ever done anything for IS IFBB executives? What's the juicy rumor you've heard about IFBB pros? Since I don't compete, I don't typically try and wrap my head in there. I'll ask my friends to compete. However, I will say this: look at the Miss Caribia, look at the Mister Olympia stage of any year. Every one of those guys has done some sort of G for P. In addition to actual G for P. All those posing videos, updates, etc. on YouTube, images, etc. are geared toward the gay market. You may think it's the bodybuilders just trying to practice posing, but there's actually, there's, but there's really no need to post dozens of videos of a massive bodybuilder in just a thong. Every video is cleverly disguised, is cleverly disguised by having the bodybuilder talk about their routines and eating habits, but they always end up having the guy 98% naked showing off every muscle off for the adoring gay bodybuilders. Also, a lot of other of other IFBB guys who aren't as famous do G for P. Like, it's going, it's going, like it's going out of style. Or they actually are gay. I wish I could have an executive as a client. The amount of huge guys I can get in the loop with dreams. Okay, he, he is actually a homo. So, do you think the rumors that uh, IFBB is discriminating against Kai Green for a G for P pass are false, or does IFBB prefer that the bodybuilders keep their G for P on the down low? I think they are uh, true due to your second question. The IBB knows 99% can't survive since they don't have endorsements, so they turn a blind eye. Cause video is just straight up weird. Even as a gay dude, I admit that, yeah. Uh, Kai Green is a big bodybuilder, but there's a video out him of uh, him fucking a grapefruit. All right. Um, yeah, so that, that's it, man. As I said, uh, this whole bodybuilding thing is uh, esteemed among men, so... You know, nothing wrong with it. The scriptures out there are the, you know, uh, f physical exercise profit is little. Uh, physical exercise profit is little, you know. Now, it does, you know, um, you know, for me, I'll say it helps me uh, think, you know, along with the herbs and, um, you know, just kind of getting out and uh, being by myself. Um, helps me, uh, helps me calm me down and whatever. Helps me, uh, you know, just in general. You know, it helps me get that, uh, young teenage angst out you know uh, rather than bottle it in you know but uh, that's all i want to get out uh call by shimmy how shy and it's all i got shalom to be continued